Hey guys, even here, and this video we are starting with a new physics update of Josh Lenartowitz. It's been a while since we saw anything from this guy, and this is what he posted today. And the caption is, life ain't all sunshine and rainbows, and that's it. So he doesn't clarify if this is recent, or it is old, or it's a throwback, nothing really, just this caption that seems rather depressing. What is the meaning behind this? Who the hell knows, but let me show you what he posted two weeks ago. And based on that post, I kind of got a little bit closer to the truth of whether this is recent or not. Uh, if you believe that this is achievable with no gear, then it is recent. If you think he can't look like this without it, then it's not. So this is the post that he made, uh, he says, uh, looks cute, might get enhanced later. Uh, 20 months, 20 months, living that natural life. And I sure as hell feel it. I do mean natty. No TRT, no HRT, nothing. Training, cardio and diet is in a great place right now to start prep for 2022 or and 2023. But lots of work to be done before consider adding the special sauce. Anyways, in this video two weeks ago, he was dumbbell pressing 150s for quite a few reps. And also you'll see in the moment, I think he's pressing 3 or 4 plates on incline. This is probably not as strong as he once was when he was on gear, but still he he's not weak, he's still pretty strong. And he says the diet is on point, cardio is on point, everything is on point. And when he was really on, when he was in his competition shape, he looked freakier than he looks here. And you can see right here that he is bald, he has no beard, nothing. And that's exactly how he looks on the photo that he posted. So maybe... It is actually recent, it's new. If it is, and he's natural right now for 20 freaking months, then he's gonna look crazy when he actually decides uh, to actually uh, to enhance himself, as he said, later. Now, he said later, but in the end of this text, he said, uh, before I consider it. So he probably meant later, like in a couple of months or even more. But maybe after he made this video, he was like, ah, screw it, let's start. And he started a new cycle with some fast acting stuff, and in two weeks he got these crazy results. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm just speculating, but if I had to say, based on the previous post that was two weeks ago, saying that he was 20 months off the gear and uh, not even dieting and not really prepping for a show, I would say this is not recent. Yeah, there are more impressive photos of Josh when he was like a few days or a day out of a show, or, you know, the post-show, yes, but uh, still, I don't think he would look like this naturally i think he's just trying to i don't know confuse us make us think about it make videos about him even and uh, i don't know whatever the point is whatever the, the goal is here he uh, posted this photo whether this is new or not it doesn't really matter as he said in that previous post he's prepping for 2020 or 2023 so i guess josh lenartovitz is making a comeback next year or the year after and i'm looking forward to seeing this mass monster back on the stage again well, it has been a while since we saw Antoine Valiant compete. The last time we saw him, he was at the Mr. Olympia actually, but he won the 2020 California Pro Show where he actually qualified for the Mr. Olympia and he did pretty good at the Mr. Olympia for the first time ever, but yeah, there was a lot of things that he needs to work on if he wants to be like a serious heavy hitter, like a top tier Olympian. But here, uh, this is the most recent physique update of his, uh, he looks massive, he's over 300 pounds right now, and he's 27 weeks out of Toronto, so he wants to win that show next year, uh, he had multiple bicep tear injuries, so the first one happened like how many, two years ago, maybe something like that, maybe even more, he recovered from it properly, like there was no sign of bicep tear whatsoever when he was on that stage, then he competed, and after the, the Mr. Olympia, he tore his, I don't know if it was his other bicep or the same one, but he had another bicep tear, and uh, again, he had to go to recovery, again, not able to train, not able to progress, really, and now he's finally back on track, and he puts the weight on so easily, whatever he loses, he gets it back, it's not his plan to take so much rest, but maybe it's actually a good thing for him, I don't know, being forced to rest, and uh, because every time he comes back, he looks bigger and more impressive, and this guy, I mean, he is a mass monster. Once again, he's uh, over 300 pounds in the offseason. He has huge freaking legs. And uh, I'll let me tell you, he'll be bigger in the offseason. I'm sure he'll go to up to like 320, 330. He puts on weight so easily and he's really heavy. 
but on the stage against the big Ramy and the other top guys, he looked small, you know, I, I think it's the structure and like the shape, the proportions and everything, it, it's crazy, I mean, how blessed genetically are those guys in like top 5, top 6, and even though Antoine is over 300 pounds, yeah, he can win pro shows, but like to be a top Olympian, it's probably not gonna happen, top 10 Olympian, sure, top 6 Olympian, I don't see that happening, not, not with his structure, no, unfortunately, I love the guy, he's really funny, he, he's, he's great, his personality is awesome, he has an amazing physique, crazy, crazy looking legs, really big, but as far as the structure, not exactly perfect, if you talk about Mr. Olympia standards, compared to the other Olympians, he's rather average, with genetics, if he adds more muscle, more mass, comes more conditioned, then maybe he will have a good chance, you know, at, at cracking like the top, I don't know, maybe something close to top 6, to be a top 6 Olympian, that, that's really hard, these days especially, anyways, this is Antoine right now, he looks massive, he is massive, tell me what you guys think, he's doing Toronto Pro Show next year in 27 weeks. Here is what Olympia finalist looks like, Nick Walker, who was 5th this year, and arguably, he could have been 4th, or even third, I mean, I can see him beating Hari Japan, I think Hari is a much better bodybuilder, but if they gave it to Rami instead of Hari, if they went with the mass and the fullness and all that freak factor, then maybe they could have put Nick a little bit higher, because he had the freak factor, he has it, and he will have it even more, probably, with time, this is his most recent physique update, he looks, he looks very lean, and he talks about this in his YouTube videos, I follow him, uh, he says that he kept his cardio pretty much the same as it was in prep, and he also eats clean food, he likes to eat clean food, he doesn't really like too much, uh, to, to cheat too much, so when your diet is clean, and you're eating a lot, but you're eating clean, and you're doing cardio, and you're training really hard, he never really stopped training hard, a lot of bodybuilders, after the show is done, they stop training for a while, to recover, the others are training, but very light, and with a lot of pump and isolation exercises, machines and stuff, I'm one of those bodybuilders, after my competitive season was over, I kept training, I didn't rest, but I did only isolation kind of movements, you know, machines and stuff, however, Nick is one of those guys that after he finishes prep, he gets immediately back to heavy and hardcore training, you can see him doing crazy heavy leg days, and still eating very clean, and doing everything he needs, even in the off season, even immediately after competing, and placing really well, he has a reason to celebrate, 5th at the Mr. Olympia, at his first Olympia, that's good, I mean, even though, even though he's not exactly happy with it, he was kind of mad after this Olympia, he wanted to be top 3, at, and I think he feels like he deserved it, but uh, anyways, he got what he got, now this is him in the off season. he stays very lean, he's packing on some lean tissue, next year, or whenever he competes, I think next year's Mr. Olympia is gonna be his next competition, I don't see him doing any more shows in between, when we see him at that Mr. Olympia, can he place higher? I don't know, he never really had a proper off season since he won his pro card, so I'm curious how much progress can Nick Walker actually make in a, in a, in a real off season before the next year's Mr. Olympia, whatever happens, it's going to be interesting, but I'm, but I'm predicting him making some crazy change, and also making a leap in a placement, which is really incredibly hard to do, especially today, because the other bodybuilders are not sitting there, they're not shooting ducks, they're also making progress, so if Nick comes improved, he needs to be so much more improved to actually beat some of those top guys, you know Hunter Labrada will make progress, Hari Japan will come better next year, Brandon Curry, I can expect from him to be better, and you know, she's already really good, and also big Rami, so to be top 5 again would be a huge success, anything above that, it would be crazy, it would be amazing, it's really tough, it's really tough to accomplish that, but is it possible? Sure, can Nick do it? If anybody can, I think that's Nick, I think he can place higher next year, maybe even finally crack the top 3, if he improves enough. Alright, and finally we get to Flex Lewis, just like Josh Lenartovitz, Flex started his prep as well, for the, for the Mr. Olympia 2022, for next year, so this is the post that he made, uh, you're watching this photo, you're looking at it, but let me just tell you immediately, this is not recent, in this post he has a lot of interesting things to say, so first off he says that this is not a recent photo, this is from 212 days, this is 2018 actually, but now, he says, 
I have had my setbacks with injuries the last few years, but I have done everything in my power to get me back on the saddle. I've had my ups and downs in the process, but had to stay as mentally strong as possible knowing I would be back. I had been asked several times if I was upset or mad that I lost so much time off stage. The answer is no. I feel everything happens for a reason and my reason is coming. I'm excited again for one of my biggest challenges. I told my coach of 18 years, Neil Yoda Hill, that when we start the, this next chapter, I need to enjoy this as much as I did in 2018. And the reason I chose to use this photo, as this was me training hard, enjoying the process, sitting at 218 to 220, trying to suck it into 212 pound class, I've always done it. I don't have a weight in mind, I just will be improved version of that. And also he will be dropping a new YouTube video shortly this week, so you guys go ahead and watch his YouTube channel, I'm sure it's great, I watched a couple of things. Anyways, he officially started his prep for 2020 Mr. Olympia, and this is I think uh, third, fourth time, right? He said he was gonna compete 2019, 2020, 2021. And now he's saying 2022. So he talked lengthy about the last time he uh, he gave up on a competition on Mr. Olympia. He talked about having some gut issues and also some uh, family problems, I think, something like that. And now he says uh, there aren't any of those. Like he has no distractions. And also his body feels good physically. He feels he is healthy. He has no GI issues or whatever issues he had before. So he is healthy, he is good, you can see him train on his stories, so something is happening, he's starting to get ready actually, so him and his coach started working on this project, and uh, it seems like, I don't know, I mean, if, if he doesn't show up next year again, fourth year in a row, he will be worse than Kai Green. Can, uh, can, can Flex afford that? Come on Flex, you need to show up eventually, and when? When? Three years you skipped it, now is the time. 2022 is the time. And I'm looking forward to seeing him on that stage. So I said about, I, I talked about Nick Walker wrecking the top uh, top five or higher again uh, with the addition of Lex Lewis. That's gonna be tough, man. I mean, Sean Clarita kind of proved it to us that even the smallest 212 guy can win a decent level pro show in the open. Uh, not a decent level, probably a lower level pro show, but still a pro show. Uh, and also he's, I mean, Flex, when he was doing the 212, he was unbeatable, bro. I mean, he, he, he wasn't able to lose from uh, Harry Chopin, Derek Lansford, uh, nobody, Ahmed Ashkenani, when he was at his best, nobody could touch Flex Lewis, and he was actually able to beat Harry, who was third at a Mr. Olympia twice. So, is that, I mean, is that enough? Does that mean that Flex is going to be really incredible at the Mr. Olympia, I don't know, I mean, this guy had one of the best legs when he was a younger guy, he had to stop training them to let his upper body catch up, and that's not easy to do, and I have the same issue, by the way, but uh, Flex now, he doesn't have to stop training his quads, he can, he, he can blow them up, because there is no more weight cap, and uh, in bodybuilding, it's not in classic physique the same way, but in bodybuilding, the, the, bigger, the bigger the freakier you are, the better. I mean, if you want classic lines, aesthetics and stuff like that, you watch classic physique, you compete in classic physique. If you want open bodybuilding, that's mass. That's ridiculous proportions. That's crazy conditioning with super crazy fullness, size, everything like that. And, and Flex is very well suited for it. So if he, if he does what I would do if I was him, he can blow his legs up so much and they will look just, it will just give it, it will just give crazy looking uh, factor to his physique overall. It will just make him look really dominant if he brings up these legs, which I am sure he can easily do because he's really, he's really genetically blessed in that area, but he's just not trying to grow them. He's trying to maintain them for a long time. Now without a wa the weight cap, this is going to be the best version of Flex, of Flex Lewis. I hope everything is going to go well and he will actually compete in the end. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it. If you want to say anything, comment down below in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel for more bodybuilding videos like this. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best and bye-bye.